The simple yet useful animated graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. This talks about a transformative process. On a click, you show the before scenario where you talk about the problems of your clients. Then on a click, we show the transformative process and then the after scenario where the problems are solved. You can use this simple graphic to talk about how your training transforms an individual or how your services transform a client, etc. Let us learn how to create this simple graphic from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to draw a rectangle that will house the two icons that will represent a transformative process. Let us give this a dark color and go to shape outline and say no outline. Then let us go to insert and say icons. Here we'll search for gears and hit enter. Here you see the gears, select that and say insert. Of course, if you don't have Office 365, you can find some other place where you can get your free gears icons. Once you have them available, you increase the size. And then in this case, I'm going to ungroup them because I want them to rotate. So let us right click, go to group and say ungroup. You say yes, because this is converting it into a Microsoft object. Then right click and ungroup it once more. Now these pieces can rotate individually. Let us then go to shape fill, change the color to white, shape outline, no outline once again. And then let us apply a simple spin animation. Let us go to animations and say we are going to have a spin animation and effect options. We want to have two spins and that is what is the representation of the process. And once that is done, the transformative process is over. Let us label this. Let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the text box tool and say ABC process or whatever process that you want to call it. Place this over here, make it thicker so it stands out and this is the place for it. Then let us show the before scenario. You can use any shape. In this case, I'm going to use a simple circle. So let us go here and give this a red color. This is the before scenario. And then let us make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and place it over here. Make sure that everything is aligned. You can use the smart guide for that. Then we will give this a green color. So this is the after scenario. Now, of course, you can label this as before and increase the size and then label this as after. You can also add your text-based explanations. Now we've got the basic graphic ready. Now let us do the animation. First, let us open the animation pane so you can see what you've got here. These two animations are for the spin. First, let us have this appear in with a simple fade animation. So let us say fade, and then we will have this one wipe from right right after that so that is the first set of animations so let us select both of these while holding the shift button and then move them up as the first set of animation events then on the next click we want to apply an exit animation for this with a peek out effect so let us select the same thing this time since we already have an animation applied to this earlier we need to go to add animation go to more exit effects and look out for the speak out animation and say OK and you say to the right. So that is how it disappears into this. You can send this back and then we will move this right next to the first animation event. And right after this goes in, we will have these two gears spinning. So we'll say after previous and after that we want to have this one pop out. So that again happens through a simple peek in animation. Let us go to the animation options, go to more entrance effects and say peek in and say OK. And this happens from left. And this again needs to be from behind. So let us send this back. And after this comes in, we will have the animated explanation. So we will have wipe and say from left. And this happens after previous. And once again, this happens right after the spinning. So we will select this and say after previous. So this is the animation sequence. On a click, we will have this fade in and then the text appears. 
then on a click this goes in spins and this comes out and then the explanation happens so let us go to slideshow on a click fade in wipe and then on a click peek out spin and then we will have peek in and wipe animation so that is how you create this simple yet practical custom animation you take this idea to the next level when you replace the circles with pictures here is the before scenario on a click we have the person undergoing the transformation process and here is the result now these pictures can be with acne without acne and your process to cure acne or it could be the person is obese goes through your transformative process and becomes fit now talking about that transformation you can even get rid of these pictures and use just text now take a look at this here we have a person who is obese on a click the person goes through the transformation process and the result is the person becomes fit can you see the idea is so versatile the whole point about this tutorial is to showcase the power of animation in helping you tell a story let me give you three examples of how you can tell stories with custom animation these are templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle the link is in the description box below on a click we introduce different ideas these ideas can be from different team members and then we show a funnel that takes in all these ideas and converts them into dollars on a click we show the various ideas going into the funnel and resulting in dollars let me give you another example here we talk about the journey from idea to execution on a click we talk about the various ideas and once we have all the ideas discussed we click and show the execution where these circles are converted into gears and we will have the execution concept shown like this the last example illustrates a story with multiple stages here we talk about how you brainstorm and choose the right ideas on a click we talk about the idea generation stage then we will talk about the next stage of evaluating those ideas with ticks and crosses and then we discard all the useless ideas and then we organize and prioritize all the ideas that we decide to take forward as you can see with purposeful custom animation you can tell a fairly elaborate story in powerpoint in the meantime do you want to learn some simple and creative powerpoint ideas you can use in your next presentation then click on the link here to join our 5 day free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas these are simple quick and useful powerpoint ideas i have not shared elsewhere so go ahead click on the link join the course and i will see you inside